We're wrapping up a week of regular season action with seven games in four countries. Sounds good to you? Then let's get right to it. My name is Andrea Sachinko and you're watching the LKHL Update. We head out to Russia's Far East first. This is Vladivostok and tonight Admiral face defending champion Sogbars. The Sailors are riding their season best two game winning streak. And they start pretty well. Five and a half minutes into the opening period. Alexander Moreskin fans on the shot and Karl Kubit cashes in on a broken play. Plus then it's all Ogbars. Just 37 seconds into the next period. Ilshi Sekic redirects it home to convert on a power play. Tie game. Late in the period, Anton Lander sets up Rafael Batushin for a shot from the circle and Batushin nets it on his own rebound. Seven minutes into the third period, Rob Klinkhammer spots his tenth of the season to give Agbars a two-goal lead. Just a few minutes remaining on the clock, Admiral give up the puck in the defensive zone and Artem Lukayanov essentially puts it out of reach as it makes it 4-1. And with just a few seconds left in regulation, Irzhi Sekic scores his second of the game to wrap up his three-point night. They counted after video review. Sekic and Lander get three points each to help Ogbars beat Admiral 5-1 on the road. We travel now to Astana, Kazakhstan, where Boris play helps to Sibir for a dead last in the East. And it starts the way to expect. Boris get on the board eight and a half minutes in with a power play marker. Kurgitz balls blazes to the net and sets up Captain Brennan Bachensky for an easy one. And then with just 15 seconds remaining to play in the period, Patrice Cormier scores his tenth of the year. This one also comes with a power play. But Sibir don't give up and score two in a row midway through the second period. First Alexander Sharov scores right after Boris kill off a penalty. And less than two minutes later, Gleb Zuranov ties it off. That's his first of the season and it's a 2-2 hockey game now. That's his first of the season and it's a 2-2 hockey game now. It's all in vain though, because Boris restored the two-goal margin before the intermission. Just 75 seconds later, Maxim Simonov makes a great diagonal pass down low and Roman Starchenko scores his tenth of the season as well. And short after that, Nikita Mihailov steals the puck from Maxim Ignatovic, quick pass to Kurt as well, and it makes it 4-2. They secure the win midway through the third as Darren Deed slams it home for his seventh, thus extending his point streak to 10 games. He has had 11 points over the stretch. Roman Starchenko finishes an hour with three points, Paul Cormier and Dante Patterson get two each, and Boris win their fifth consecutive game. 5-2 is your final. Our next stop is in Yekaterinburg, where Afton Belize, who have won everything but one game this regular season, meets Spartak Moscow. And home team shows them in business early on. Just 50 seconds into the game, Stefan de Costa and his tenth of the year. Nigel Dawson and Anatoly Golishev with the assists. Spartak get back even late in the second. Anatoly Nikonsev protects the puck, makes a cross ice pass, and never listens for his second of the year. Tie game. And it goes to overtime. Anatoly Goloshev has it in Greski's office. Alexey Vasilevsky drops to the slot, takes a shot, rebound, and Vasilevsky buries it himself. That's it. After the list improved their record to 22 and 1. At this pace, they will clinch the playoffs in no time. 2 1 overtime final on this one. Palashika Moscow region is the site of our next game. Avangar play house to Torpedo tonight. There's no scoring in the first 40 minutes of play, so we'll pick it up from the third. Just on a five minutes in, Mikhail Orlov puts it on F from the left wind, it bounces to open ice, and Demir Zakharov sends it home on the short side. A few minutes later, Denis Baransov wrists it from the point. Bobkov stops it, but Robert Sabalic buries the rebound to give Torpedo a 2 0 lead. The Hawks slice that lead in half two minutes later. David Darnay passes it to Cody Franson, who lets it rip from the point, and it goes in up Kirill Patrov. Avangard roll the dice, pull Bobka for the extra attacker, but it doesn't help. Mikhail Varnica hits the open 4 by 6 and this one is over. Torpedo win their third game out of the past four, first one in regulation over the stretch, as they defeat Avangard 3-1 on the road. The 
Welcome to the capital of Estonia. This is Stalin, and tonight it's where Jokerit hosts Everstal. The Jesters open up the scoring late in the first. Brian O'Neill rolls behind the net and feeds John Norman backdoor for his 11th of the year. Jokerit has the momentum on their side throughout the game, but next goal comes only midway through the third period. Plus Jensen pivots in his defensive end, causing the collision between two Severstal players, skates up the ice and wrists at home. 2-0 Jokerit now. But it's not over. Just a minute later, Stanislav Kalashnikov puts out a net from the point and that pulls Yanis Kalnic. Kalashnikov's first of the season makes it a one-goal game again. Severstal risk it and pulls their goaltender late in regulation. Yuri Trubachov wins the face up in the offensive end. Ivan Lakomsov slides it to Denis Kulash and BAM! Denis Kulash sends it in with a deflection and just like that one tied it twos. Overtime? Oh no! Niklas Jensen snaps his second of the game just 40 seconds later and that's the game winning goal. Severstal raises a two goal deficit late in the third but still end up with no points. Jokic wins their picks in a row. 3 2 is your final on this one. And now to Vienna, Austria, where Slovan play host to SKA St. Petersburg in another edition of KHL World Games. It's not really different from their previous outing against Red Army two days ago, which ended in a blowout. SKA opened up the scoring seven minutes into the game as Patrick Kersley slams it home for his 11th of the year. It's like we've been watching this one on repeat. Even through the second period, SKA scored two in a row. First, Artem Zimchonik slides it over to Yarnikovsky Rana, who sends it in with a leg pump. And then Alexander Dergachov beats Sergei Plotnikov from behind the net for his course of the season. SPA lead 3-0 after 40. And then it just goes from back to worse for Slovan in the third period. 38 seconds into it, Dinarka Fazula makes it 4-0. Six minutes later, Andrei Kuzmenko gets his second of the year to make it 5-0. Two minutes after that, Sergei Plotnikov scores his second of the game on a power play and it's 6-0 now. And as if that wasn't enough, with just 22 seconds on the clock, Alec Lee scores his first goal on SKA jersey to cap it off. Slovan lose both games in Austria with a combined score of 16-0. Magnus Helberg gets his third shot out of the year, and Nikita Gusev wrecks up three assists, and SKA win it 7-0. And there's just one more score to tell you about. Jonas Kampanen converted on a power play early in the third and Salavati Live beat Vitas 2-1 on home ice. That's it for your Dell KHL update, but do come back tomorrow for three more games including Salavati Live, Dynamo Moscow and Lokomotiv vs Sochi. My name is Andrea Sachinka, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you again soon.